Hi friends, my name is Akhtil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will see how to insert and update data with CTE in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is that how to use CTE in SQL Server to insert and update the data. So recently I created one of the video like what is CTE and how to use the CTE in SQL Server. So if you have not watched that video, then I will recommend you to watch that video and I will share the link of that video in the description of this video. Now this is the second tutorial on the CTE in SQL Server. So in my first video I shown you like how to select the data using the CTE and in this video I will show you how we can update and insert the data. So without wasting further time let's jump to the demo. I got the SQL Server instance here and uh, I got some SQL queries here. So let me just uh, use these SQL queries to create table employees and then we will use the insert and update operations along with the CTE in the employees table okay so what this particular uh, set of queries do it actually drop the employees table if it exists and then it recreate the table and then it insert the 10 records into the SQL server table okay so let me execute these queries so the 10 records got inserted into the employees table now let me copy the table name and create a new session and select the data from the employees table Okay, so in this particular table, some of the records are duplicate. For example, this John Smith, the employee name is duplicate here. Okay, so it contains two records. However, um, the joining date is different. So this is the older record and this is the new record. Okay, and similarly, this Alice Johnson, this record is duplicate as well. So this record is older record and this record is the newest record according to the joining date. Okay, so now what I want is that I want to create a new table maybe employees underscore unique records and then I want to select the unique records from this particular table according to the employee name so there should be eight unique records from this table and I want to insert the unique records to a new table okay uh, but the thing is that uh, because this record like John Smith is uh, present two times so I want to select the record with the older joining date for example this record has the older joining date as 2022 15th January okay but the new record has a joining date as 5th April okay I want the older joining date record from here okay and similarly for the Alice Johnson the older record has 10th March uh, date and the new record this has a like 20th May date okay so I want the record with the older joining date okay so I want the unique records and I want to insert them to a new table so first of all let me create a uh, new employees table I can call it like maybe employee underscore unique records so how I can create the table with the same schema as the employees table I can write this query select top zero star into and then I can provide the table name so the table name can be like employees underscore unique records from and the table name okay so if I execute this query so this will create a new table with zero records in it okay so I can select the data from this particular table employees underscore unique records okay so it contains zero records as of now now let's try to insert the data into this particular table from the employees table and with the unique records with the older joining date so we can do that using the CTE along with the insert query so we can write the code here with CTE as parenthesis and then we can just select the data like select a star from employees and then after the star we can use the row number function here row number okay over partition by employee name because we want to figure out the unique records according to the column name as employee name okay so we need to use the employee name here and order by joining date okay because we want the older record to be taken so we can call this particular column as rn okay so the older re record will have a value as 1 and the new record that will have a value as 2 okay now i can write the select query select star from cte so if i execute this particular query now so it will add one extra column as rn and if you see the value so for ellie johnson for the older record older joining date the values of rn is 1 and for the newer record the value is 2 and similarly for John Smith for the older joining date the value of RN is 1 and for the newer joining date the value of RN is 2 so I am interested in, in the older joining date value okay 
so i can easily select the unique records from this particular table where rn equal to 1 okay so if i execute this particular query then it will select the unique records okay so these are the eight unique records now i want to insert this data into the employees unique records table okay but here we got one extra column so we uh, you know we are not interested with the rn column in the select query so we need to select the columns here employee id and uh, employee name then manager id then salary and then joining date okay so these are the columns that i want and the last column is the order so i can select the order column as well okay so let me uh, test this query so the query is working fine now i want to insert the data into the employees unique records table so i can write the insert query here insert into this table okay and this is the select query so i just need to execute this particular query and maybe i can put the semicolon here and then select this query and click on execute so you can see that the unique records got inserted into the employees unique records table so this is how we can insert the data using the cte and now suppose if i want to update the data into the employees table so if you see there is a column order here which contains null records for all the records but now i want to populate the data to this particular table okay and what i want is that um, each record should have a order as one if a record is unique then it should have value as one but if the record is duplicate then the older record should have a value as one and the new record should have a value as two okay so for example for jan do because this is a unique record so this should have a value as one but for john smith because this is the older record so this should have as a value as one however the second record with the uh, you know new joining date it should have the order as two so this is how it should work similarly for alice johnson this is the older record so the order should be one here and for this record employee id 8 alice johnson because this is the new joining date so the value of the order should be 2 here okay so i want to update the data in this particular table and according to the joining date for all employees okay for the unique records it's pretty easy that we can update the order as one for all the unique records but for the duplicate records it can be a little tricky because uh, for the duplicate records for the first record with the older joining date we should provide the value as one but for the new record with the new joining date we should need to update the order as 2 okay so let's see how we can do that so there is an easy way using the cte that we can update the data okay so we can achieve this using the cte in sql server so we can write like with cte and uh, in the parenthesis we can write the same select query whatever query we have used here okay uh, so i can just copy and paste this query we are just selecting the data from the employees table because we are deciding the duplicate records based on the employee name so that's why we are doing the partition by on employee name if you want to decide the duplicate records on more than one column like maybe on the salary so we can provide the salary here after the comma and uh, we want to generate a row number according to the joining date okay in the ascending order so the older record should have a value as one and the new record should have the value as two okay so that's why we are doing it based on the joining date so now i can select the data from this table select star from cte and this will return the data to us okay along with the rn so now we got the value of rn 12 and 1112 okay so this value rn this is what we need in the order column okay because like for example for ellis johnson you see this is the older record so it should have value as 1 and for ellis johnson this is the second record with the new joining date so this should have the value as 2 for the order okay so this is the exact value that we want for the order column okay so we can easily update the data from the rn column into the order column and rn is not the actual column right now it's just a you know column on the fly it doesn't exist in the table but we can use this column to update the data into the order column so instead of the select query we can just write an update query here like update cte so even though you will update the data into the CTE table, but it will actually update the data into the employees table because right now this CTE, it's a common table explanation and it contains all the columns from the employees table. So if you will update any record in this particular data set in the CTE, 
so that record will be updated to the main table okay so that's why we can just write an update statement of updating the data to the CTE and it will update the data to the employees table so we can write the query like update CTE set order equal to RN okay RN is the new column that we created here okay and we can just assign the value from RN column to the order column or uh, we can put the semicolon before the with keyword and then we can select this query and we can click on execute so it updated all 10 records in the employees table so now we can select the data from the employees table and it should have the order column populated so I can click on execute and now you can see that the order column got populated with the correct values for the John Smith for the duplicate records the first record have a value as 1 and the second record the duplicate record it has the order value as 2 and same is the case for Ellis Johnson as well the first record the older joining date record has a value as 1 and for Ellis Johnson the new joining date record it has the value as 2 yeah so I think this is what we were looking for so these are the examples of writing the insert queries and the update queries using the CT in SQL Server uh, maybe I can create one more video like using the multiple CT in the single SQL query okay so we can use the multiple CT as well in the single select statement or in the single insert to delete or update query okay so maybe I can uh, try to create one more video on this topic so I will share all the scripts that I used here like this particular script and all the queries used here so that you can test it in your environment as well yeah so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please hit the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much